The market is, let's be honest, pretty crap right now. And what we need to do is sift through all of the crap and find our long-term potential gains. Now, in today's video, we're going through my top three picks for October with an honorary mention at the end, which I definitely think can do a 10x. Please do remember that this is all pure speculation. I hold every single one of these coins that I'm speaking about today, and I see a lot of potential going forward for crypto. But even though I see this potential, I also see that to be a potential for us to drop lower in the overall cryptocurrency market cap. And that is why I always talk about dollar cost averaging. And that is how I personally invest into things. Because that way, if I buy today and I continually buy going forward, I can make the best if the market does in fact go down. With that said, nothing in the video is financial advice. First of all, just checking out the Bitcoin rainbow chart. Don't worry, I'm not going to be suggesting Bitcoin in this video. But we are right now basically in a fire sale. So this is years and years and years since the very start of Bitcoin. And every time we have been in basically a fire sale, it has been an amazing, absolutely amazing time to buy. Of course, history doesn't dictate what's going to happen in the future. But for me, this is good enough for me to dollar cost average into projects I believe in very much, including Bitcoin, because hey, that's my biggest portfolio position. And I think that Bitcoin is going to continue to disrupt the landscape. Checking out this tweet here, if you had 1 million USD in your bank since 20 2015, the purchasing power today in these different countries, the US $700,000, the Turkish Lira $140,000, the Lebanese Lira $40,000, Argentina Peso $30,000, and Venezuelan Bolivar $2. What is happening to this world? Bitcoin sitting at a cool $61 million. Now, I'm not out here to suggest putting in a uh, million dollars into Bitcoin for it to be turned into 61 million. Those times are pretty much behind us, but there is still gains to be made. I do think that Bitcoin will surpass the $100,000 mark eventually. Will that happen this year? Probably not. Will it happen next year? Probably not. But could it happen in the next few years? I think it's possible, but we're going to have to just stick around. And especially now in this bear market, right where we are with Bitcoin and the overall market, I think it's the perfect time to continue researching, continue learning, Learning, growing your knowledge base and finding actual projects, companies and all of that sort of stuff that you believe in and investing with money that you can afford to lose and you do not need for the next few years. That's the key here. And that is the key to create financial wealth in what could be and most likely is a recession. So with that said, let's move into our first coin and it's XRP guys. I have XRP It is still a large position in my portfolio. I was buying this quite heavily in the bull market. I never sold any. I still hold it now. I'm down around 40%. The reason why I'm still holding it is they are still in this case with the SEC. And we have had news recently that this could be coming to an end in the next few months. And that is why the market is going really crazy about it. Of course, if they do not win, this could have a bad domino effect on the rest of the market laying down legal groundwork and precedent for more issues like this in the future. That is pretty much the worst case scenario of what we could be asking for right now. We also just the other day had two huge companies supporting Ripple in the, the SEC case. Please do your own research into this. I personally hold this and I do think it's going to do very well. Now, as well as the SEC case, I think another important factor to look at is the social metrics for coins. Now, where we are in the cryptocurrency space right now, most things are much more based on hype than they are utility. Now, I find that frustrating. I would much rather it was based on utility than hype, but that's just the way it is in a space that's so early that we are right now. There is a lot of emotion in the space. There is a lot of excitement in the space. And those are the kinds of things that we can still profit from. And as we can see here, XRP sits at number six here on Luna Crush. They have more social mentions than BNB coin itself, but about half of the social engagements, putting it just behind BNB, but the rest of the coins being stable coins or Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we have XRP there, number six, but really number four, if you only count cryptocurrency coins that, you know, go up and down in price. Well, I say that we saw UST collapse, but for now, for now, these are
these are stable coins currently. But XRP here at number six, and I think this is a very important metric to look at. And we see this on Twitter, on TikTok, on YouTube. There is a lot of hype around XRP, meaning that the pumps can be exceptional. Therefore, having a little bit of exposure to projects like this, I think is good. Now, if XRP had good news from the case, gets a massive pump, I personally will be taking profits off the table. I probably wouldn't be selling my entire bag, but I would definitely take some profit if the market starts to move up, especially if XRP starts to move up significantly more than the overall market, taking profits off the table and waiting to reinvest those profits if there are opportunities that come from there. Just before we jump further into this video, I want to introduce you guys to today's channel sponsor, and that is Scorpion Yachts. And what Scorpion Yachts are doing is giving you fractional ownership over a fleet of over $8 million worth of yachts in the form of an NFT. And because of their business model, this NFT can return you over 7% per year. This is a very exciting opportunity and nothing like I've seen before. These yachts are dotted around the world and this is a real business model generating cash flow as we speak. To break this project down a little bit more, Scorpion Yachts is the world's first hybrid Web3 community with online and offline events and special member rates for renting boats, sports cars and houses. They offer annual memberships that are cheaper to buy and non-volatile, unlike their future more expensive NFTs, which like I said are also tradable on the secondary markets. And this limited edition Scorpion Yacht Club NFT will be launched in 2023. So this is your opportunity to start your research into this project, which may actually generate you a very favorable ROI. And these co-owner yacht NFTs will have a starting price of 180 USD. And there is also an opportunity for you to win five of these silver NFTs in a giveaway. And all you have to do is head down to the description, follow the link there for the NFT application form, fill in the information and say which influencer sent you. And you guys will be entered into the draw to win one of five of these silver NFTs. NFTs. So pause this video, head down to the description, go over and enter right now so you can stand a chance to win one of these NFTs. So essentially, Scorpion Yachts is an exclusive co-ownership program that will be limited to several co-owners per yacht. And as an SYC member, you get priority and you can enjoy all of the benefits of owning a yacht without any of the hassle. It's actually up to five times more affordable. And like I said before, you can also trade your NFT back on the open market, unlike a normal annual membership. Now, as you know, I always like to see a person behind these projects and Dirk is the owner of Scorpion Yachts. He's started several companies since 1996 and he actually started the Scorpion Yacht Club in Dubai. And with this new venture, it makes him the very first yacht builder to offer tokenized NFT memberships and co-ownership of the yachts themselves. The key takeaways for this project are one, only 50% of the yacht ownership NFTs will be released to the public, which will be a total of 200 NFTs. By being one of the first owners of these co-ownership NFTs, you will get an annualized return of 7%, which is similar to the returns that you get on average in the stock market. Also, also other benefits like car and yacht rallies in the USA and Europe, plus the discounts that you'll receive from owning these NFTs make this a much more affordable and hassle-free way of yachting around the world. Of course, no investments come without their risk, but if you are interested in learning more about the Scorpion Yacht Club, check the links down there in the description. Now, moving on to our next pick, it is Ethereum. I know a lot of you guys have heard this a lot. I'm personally dollar cost averaging into Ethereum pretty much daily right now with a small amount of money because I think that this is a good price. I think that also Ethereum can drop down. The lows were around $750, I think just a month ago or a, a month and a bit ago. And I think it's possible that it could drop down to those levels again. Just like I think it's possible that Bitcoin could lose 50% of its value uh, from where we are right now. But I also think that there is something that is playing on the cards as we speak, which could be very good. So I have two options. These can be great buying opportunities or the price can drop, let's say 50%. Now, the reason why I say those things, obviously it can either go up or go down. But my point is, if I start buying in the position we are right now, which I already believe is a nice position, dollar cost averaging, if tomorrow we do get that drop, because I'm still dollar cost averaging through the drop, I'm making the best of it. And in fact, I kind of have a bias towards it dropping further because that way I get more. Now, of course, this only works if you do think that Ethereum, Bitcoin, or whatever the coin or project or company is, if you do think it's going to be around for a long time. That's why investing into blue chip stocks is also a great idea, in my opinion, in a market situation like we're in today. Ethereum, Number two, I think that this coin is going to be big. I think that there's a potential for it to flip Bitcoin in the future in market cap. I think all of these things are possible. I think institutions are going to get more and more interested in this now, especially that we've had the flip to uh, proof of stake. But 
Remember that because we are now proof of stake, the SEC has its probes looking at Ethereum, potentially classifying it as a security. So that's a definitely a worry. But because of the new updates and the updates that are coming in the future, in the short term future, Ethereum will become hopefully deflationary, meaning the supply will go down and hopefully in turn, meaning the coin price will go up. That's what we have in store for Ethereum. And I do think it's gonna to continue to do very well going into the future. Now, with that said, I wanna bring you a wild card for today's video. It's Terra Classic. Now, for full transparency, I lost multiple six figures in the UST and Luna crash. I never held any Luna before the crash, very luckily, but I did hold the UST stable coin. I don't believe that that makes me biased for this opinion, but if you do, of course take it with a pinch of salt but again i'm going almost solely on social engagement and social hype when it comes to terra classic but this coin has been doing exceptionally well recently we saw a massive absolutely monumental run in the space of about four hours we saw a pump of 80 percent because of the news that binance will be actually burning their trading fees for luna classic both on the spot market and the margin market and we're going to get this news very soon and this could be a big catalyst for this market and this might not be a big move for a meme coin or, you know, one of these tiny degen coins, but the market cap of Loon Terra Classic right now is $2 billion, in and around the $2 billion. So an 80% move with a market cap like that is absolutely absurd in a bear market. So this can move very violently. Paying attention to this with a short-term mindset, I think could make a lot of money. Also, small investments holding for the long term could also pay off very well. I think that the social narrative around this coin uh, being the biggest comeback story in history is also another narrative that I think could push this to make more gains in the future. I personally have a small position in Terra Classic and I'm gonna be holding it for now because I do think that there is more gains to be made, especially if we see another meme uh, hype coin pump coming in at the start of the next bull run. I do think that Terra Classic will take advantage of that, but do take a look at the charts. Remember, we could drop significantly just around, you know, a month ago, we were down here in the 001 mark, and now we are 3x higher than that with a 6x pump here at the peak. So do pay attention to this. I'm watching this very closely myself, but Again, because of the social aspect, I do think that there is some hope here. Now, with those three out of the way, I want to give you my wild card, and I've mentioned this a few times on the channel, and this is one of the companies that I am continually dollar cost averaging into month over month, because I think that the returns could be very, very good, right? This is called CleanSpark, and this is a Bitcoin miner. The reason why I like CleanSpark is they actually sold a lot of their Bitcoin near the top. They took the money that they made, and they have been reinvesting it into to the company to make it more profitable in the bear market. And I absolutely love that. That is essentially what I did with my cryptocurrency portfolio. And they are smashing this. They are increasing the amount that they can mine month over month. The revenue is growing. Look at this, quarterly financials. Their revenue has grown 242%. Net profit margin up 50%. The net income, of course, is down because they are Bitcoin miners. So the income, of course, comes down when the price of Bitcoin comes down but I think that they're gonna do substantially well if we go into another bull market, right? You can see the price sitting up here around $20 back in November, 2021, and we are now sitting at $3. So this is a huge run up and they have had higher prices in the past, but where I'm gonna discount those and really pay attention to this sort of region, giving us, you know, a five to 10X possibility in a miner to do with Bitcoin. You can also access this through tax-friendly accounts that you you can sign up through on Moomoo up to $2,000 in stocks if you sign up using the link down there in the description. This is the biggest sign up bonus I've ever seen, right? I met these guys in person. It's awesome, right? So if you do fancy it, if you're in Australia or America, you can do that. But I do see a lot of potential here. And like I said at the start of the video, so you can decide whether or not you want to take everything I've said with a pinch of salt because I am totally transparent here on the channel. I am invested into Ethereum. I'm invested into Terra Classic and XRP and clean spark, right? I'm invested into those because I see massive potential, but you guys should always go out and do your own research. If you want to learn to potentially make some passive income here in the bear market, check out this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.